What is up YouTube? Today I want to go over how you can make your clutch plates last longer and how to stop drag of a, your clutch dragging. Having You might be having issues with getting it into neutral, changing gears, stuff like that. So I just wanted to show you guys the way how to change it. This way uh, works with clutch plates that aren't actually weird, worn. So you might get into the into the clutch and find out that the clutch clutch plates and clutch fibers aren't actually worn. Some ways to tell it if the clutch plates are worn is discoloration in them and for your fibers you can normally measure them. If you look into your manual and you've got genuine plates in there you will be able to get specifications for them. So I took I took mine out. This has done thirty hours on it now. I took them out because there was clutch drag, um, it wasn't wanting to go into neutral. I work in a motorbike shop as a apprentice mechanic, so I took them out. Uh, it's a Suzuki dealer, too. I took them out. We, I took them into work. Well, firstly, I went and ordered another, just another clutch plate, um, another clutch kit. Bef I didn't even bother to check the, check the um, originals, or I checked the, the clutch plates. They were fine, but I'd never measured the fibres or anything. So I went and ordered another clutch pack, or a set pack. Um, when I did that, they wanted to have they wanted to have a bit of a look at the the genuine clutch plates because thirty hours isn't a lot. So you normally, uh, you depends on how you ride it, how many hours you get out of it, if you're using the clutch heaps or not, but. 30 hours, yeah, um, so I did that, I took it in, and they measured them up, and they had a look at them, and they were not worn, what they did recommend was, there's two, these two here, two, two rings at the very end of your basket, they're the first things that are in your basket, what these do is stop clutch chatter, so, they reduce clutch noise in that, and hold your clutch plates, firmer to each other closer to each other so by removing these it's pretty much freeing up a bit of room sort of thing it will make more clutch noise than that but they recommended that so I tried that tried that first instead of putting the new clutch plates in I tried putting taking these out and putting the general one clutch plates back in we did that and made sure the free play on that was good and Away she went, she was pretty much like brand new again, no clutch, no clutch drag, no no neutral, no struggles getting the neutral or anything. Um, doing this, it won't do any harm to anything inside your engine. It's removing these, these are all, these are used for as removing noise from your clutch, clutch, clutch components and that. Um, some bikes do have them. I don't know what other models have them. I know Yamaha don't have them. There will be Kawasaki might have them. I'm unsure though. Um, yeah, so we removed them and that solved all the issues. So now she's mint. Uh, no clutch drag, no nothing. It's pretty much like new. So it just it's just a really cheap way to fix fix your clutch. If the, if your clutch is worn, it's this isn't going to help. I have seen a lot of, in the reviews, and a few of the reviews where they're saying your clutch does go up, they've had clutches go after 15 hours. I suspect it all comes down to your two rings here, which is causing causing these clutch plates to, maybe when they get down to a certain point of wear, it might be just, these two rings might just be interfering a bit with the whole clutch system and that. That's just what I suspect, and that's the only way. It really could be affecting it in my eyes, but... That's the way to do it, just remove them and you'll be ready to go again. So cheers for watching, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and peace out.